Alright, time for another one pot comfort dish, this time originating from Korea. Start by adding 2 pounds of bone-in chicken to a large pan or pot. This recipe will be for 4 portions. I'm using wings, but any cut with skin and bone will be fine. Next add 750 milliliters of cold water. Cover with a lid, bring to a simmer, and let it go for 10 minutes. Next begin soaking 160 grams of thin glass noodles in warm water and set aside until ready. We'll now chop our vegetables. Begin by slicing 20 grams of garlic, 20 grams of ginger, 1 medium sized white onion and 4 large mushrooms. I took a few extra out here but decided not to use them. Next slice 1 medium sized carrot on a rolling bias, meaning turn the carrot 90 degrees every time you cut a slice out. This is also known as an oblique cut. and cut one medium sized yellow flesh potato into 16 pieces. And bias cut one green onion stalk for garnish at the end. Next we'll make the seasoning mixture for the braising liquid. Starting with 375 milliliters of water, followed by 2 thirds of a cup of soy sauce. 3 tablespoons of sugar, 2 tablespoons of mirin, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, and 1 teaspoon of black pepper. Give everything a good mix, taste it, and adjust seasoning if necessary. Alright, after 10 minutes of simmering, we're going to strain all the unpleasant looking residue out. Pour everything into a strainer with a bowl under it to catch all the chicken stock. And then clean your pan and pour the chicken stock back in. I also like to give the chicken a rinse to remove any other particles. Add in all your vegetables except the green onion. Then we'll pour in all the sauce as well. Mix everything around evenly and add a loose fitting lid and boil it for 15 minutes. Now we'll add our glass noodles. Mix it all around the pan, turn it down to a simmer, add the loose fitting lid back on and let it go for another 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, check if the potatoes are done by poking through them with a chopstick. If it goes through, the dish is ready. Add on the green onion slices and simmer for 30 more seconds. Garnish with roasted sesame seeds. Serve while steaming hot with a big bowl of white rice. Don't forget to pour on lots of extra sauce to enjoy with your rice. The result will be a sweet and salty umami packed dish with tons of fragrance. The potatoes should be nice and soft as well as having soaked up a ton of the flavor from the delicious broth we created. The glass noodles offer their usual incredibly chewy texture as well as having soaked up some more of that amazing broth and the chicken should retain a slight amount of chewiness while still being able to easily come off the bone. That's how I like it personally. I hope everyone gives this comforting one pot braised chicken recipe a try. It's incredibly affordable and easy to make. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for another recipe.